Hello everyone! Every day we work hard at CS Card to provide you the best e-commerce experience and today we are happy to announce two much anticipated features that will soon appear in CS Card. These features are email templates and invoice editor. In this video I'm going to show you how to manage your email notifications by using our new email templates page, how to make an invoice that will be perfect for you and finally how to put finishing touches to your order invoices via editing page. Before we proceed, I would like to remind you that features are still in development, so the content and design of the features may change in the future. To access these amazing functions, go to Design, Email Templates or Invoice. Here you will find all available notifications that are sent to your customers and administrators. To open the editor, just click the title of the notification. You can edit the subject and the body of the notification. To make edits, you will need variables and snippets located on the left. Just enter the variable and it will pull the information to the template automatically. For example, if you want to add the name of your company to the template, just choose a place and then click the company name variable. To check that the name is at the right place, click Preview button. Also, you can preview your notifications. Sending test emails is a good way to check that everything looks fine. Test emails are sent to the administrator who is currently logged in his card. To save your time, we added the Code Snippets tab. This tab allows you to add, delete and edit the constant elements of your emails, like header or footer. Now let's create our own snippet. Go to Code Snippets tab, press plus button, make up a name for a snippet, enter the necessary code. And now let's exchange the social buttons with some banner. OK. Now press the Create button and go back to the General tab. As you can see, there is a snippet at the left. Now let's delete old snippet and add the new one. Press Preview to check. OK, the snippet is ready. To edit the snippet, simply click on its title. You can change the name of already existing snippets and make some edits in their code. Press the Use Default Value button to revert changes. Some of your notifications may contain invoices inside them. Now you can easily edit the content and the form of the invoices by using our new invoice editor. The new invoice editor allows you to construct your own invoice template. To edit the information inside the invoice you can use variables, language variables and variables with an array key. You can identify them by the dot between two parts of a variable. For example, variable c.companyphone. Instead of pulling all information about your company, it pulls only the info from the phone field of your company profile. Also, you can change the look and style of your content by using the text editor located on the upper panel. And finally, to ensure that everything looks good, use preview function. Another important part of the invoice is a product info table. It contains all the information about the purchased product. Add the product info table by entering the product info variable to any location of the invoice. To add, edit or remove table columns, switch to the product info tab on the invoice editing page. On the product info tab, click the name of the existing column to edit or click the plus button to add a new column to the table. Also, you can change the position of the columns. Simply drag and drop the column to the desired position. On the column editing pop-up, 
you can see the list of variables that can be applied. After you have finished creating your own perfect template, you can start making unique order invoices right on the order details page. To do so, go to orders, view orders, choose an order, click the gear button at the top right and choose edit invoice. On this page the information is presented not in variables but in standard words and letters. You can edit the information just by clicking on the line where you want to make changes and entering or deleting information. Of course, you can still use variables, but in this case, good old written language is the best option. And by the way, the changes in the individual order invoices do not affect the invoice template. That's it for today. We will be very happy to hear your opinions on the new features and your ideas about how to improve them. Please do consider testing the invoice editor on our demo website and tell us what you think on our forum. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CS card videos.